at least you have physical therapy. Hope your foot's getting better. Give me a second, guys. I don't remember what I was doing here. I hear, oh there he is, because I hear a wandering trader, where the hell is he? I know we're going to need more sticks than that. Alright, I'll be around. You get on. I can always switch from this over to something else. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get a boot for that, it might be a good idea. So, we want to find obsidian, obviously. Which means we're going to have to find some lava. I mean, we could play either. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, because we need uh, an enchanting table. We need a portal. So our next step is to find obs uh, obsidian, or at least, very least, lava. I don't remember when the last time I slept was, so that might be a good idea as well.
so might food. A uh, cow seems to have wandered into the pen. Yes, I haven't caught any animals yet because we're waiting for the wheat to grow. I'm going to bring the bread and the apples with us just for now. This is supposed to be for horses. I don't know why there's a sheep in here. And we have do have a lot of bees around here. Which will help us out. This is where I've been pulling all our diamonds out of. I haven't found any lava yet. No, nobody's in the party yet. Um, haven't even seen anybody on yet. Like, Drew's haunted Xbox is on. That's about it. The ghost hasn't tried to join the party yet either, so... It did the other day. He was out at a friend's house on Sunday night, and then his ghost joined the party. And he doesn't believe us. It's like, well, you were in the party. I mean, I could try to catch up on the battle pass with you. Um, Like I said, I haven't been too interested in... Uh, Playing Fortnite this season doesn't uh, what they've got going doesn't interest me in the very least. I shouldn't have even bought the battle pass this uh, this season. So yeah, I don't... Oh, well, there we go. Just gonna break pickaxes now. Surprisingly, when I mine, I usually dig into lava. I have not dug, on, dug into any lava yet, so I don't know. Which kind of sucks when you need obsidian.
Oh, we just found diamonds. Not bad, it's a six vein. Yeah, it has a habit of doing that. When I first started playing this game, I hated to come down and go mining just because of how claustrophobic it was. I'd stay on the surface and build and let everybody else do the mining for me. Just because I couldn't stand to be down in the damn mines. I think we've seriously put our mind in the one area where there's no fucking lava at all. Hey, that doesn't bode well. Which means I'm gonna have to go searching for lava. At least, at the very least. Which I was hoping to avoid having to go too far to find resources, but I mean, we don't even have coal in our area. I've been using charcoal from burning trees, so... I'm going to dig a little bit further by five more blocks, and then I'm going to call it, and I guess we're going to head up and try to, I don't know, go hunting for lava on the surface. Hopefully we can find some. See if there's another place we could find resources at. What was that? Where did I get stuck in there? I mean, hopefully, we can also find some spiders. Because we need to do some fishing as well, so... stuff back in the house 
and then we'll uh, I guess we're gonna have to create some type of protection I think swords take one, if I'm not mistaken. That's why it's one stick. I knew it was one something. I didn't know what the hell it was. spiders around here. Oh, we got creepers and skeletons. That light over there has to do with our mine. We do seem to have a lot of creepers around us. Is that lava there? I didn't light anything up that way. It's gotta be lava.
I mean, this will work in our favor. We need the crying obsidian for respawn anchors in the nether. And at least we can get ourselves enchantments if we can get the enchanter's table. And there is technically lava here. So that kind of worked in our favor. Alright, you. Had enough of your crap? I want to try to uncover all the obsidian, or obsidian, lava. I want to take some of this magma, these magma blocks with me as well. Magma is useful. Holy shit, I'm stuck in the hole. Just trying to work here, man. I'll tell you guys how to work. You need a hell alone. Well, that went the wrong way. Oh, that didn't work either. stuff we need. Now if we could just find more stuff. That'd be even more excellent. But we do have a good start. We have an at least we have an enchanting table now. And if we can get some paper and some leather, we can start making bookshelves to go around the enchanting table.
Where's our mob drops going? Oh, this is food. We gotta start cooking some of our food because we are running low. So we already have harvested some sugar cane. There's where we're putting our mob drops. There we go. So I got two leather. We need a little bit more. Crying obsidian can go in there. gonna put nether items in here. Bricks. Stairs. Bricks. 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 Oh, wait. Wheat seeds can just go right down. That's right. We need to bring this stuff to cook with. Three paper, one book, one enchanting table. So this is where we're going to put the enchanting table and its surround. We need to get started on harvesting some of our sugar cane. And we got to go on the hunt for cows. Because we at least need... You bastard. need uh, leather for books. And to do so, we need at least one surround on the bottom of our enchanter's table as well. So we gotta go on the hunt for cows, and hopefully hunting for cows we come across more Lava, hopefully. Mm. You know, cow, it helps if you give me obsidian. Or obs leather, obsidian. Yeah, it's obsidian from a cow. horse. If only I had a leash to drag him back to the... Um... House. Uh, see, that's a good start. We needed that. If 
come across coal or iron and it's on the surface, always take it. It will make your life a whole lot easier. Trust me. Yeah, we are not going caving right now. We're not going to get distracted. We need leather. That is our goal right now. I see another biome. That's a good start too. So we got multiple biomes. We got a mountain right there, which could probably have iron in it, and another cave with a waterfall leading into it. So we've got some good things to explore. Um, I mean, I was going to start a new world, but now that I'm able to get out and explore this world uh, a little bit more, like I said, I was only using this as a test world. I was uh, testing the design of the house with the garden running over top of it. But uh, now that I've gotten to get out and explore this world a wee bit, it uh, doesn't look to be like an overly bad world to keep. So... I'll take it. Ooh, cow. Two cows. Sweet. Now, you shouldn't do this, but you also get leather from llamas. go. He was over here. Where'd he go? No, cow. Where'd you go to? There he is. Oh. Like I said, just gonna harvest leather. If, you know, animals want to give their leather up. Which, they're not wanting to. Nice. Alright. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna hide up in our, uh, our little, uh, thing up here for a second. I gotta run to the washroom and I gotta get a coffee, so I'll be right back, guys.
Alright, sorry about that. I am back. Always need that bathroom break to make sure that you're not going to piss yourself. Alright, uh, what are we doing? Paper. Books. I guess I should have put the obsidian back away. And the diamonds. Probably would have been a good idea. No wool. Paper. Ugh. So yeah, we got coal and we got that, so cool. Somebody's shooting at me. Wow. Just gonna be a jerk, huh? Stand on the outside over there shooting at people. Wait. I needed Yeah. My bad. I need that as well so we can make some bookshelves. We're one leather shy of three bookshelves. Got a fishing rod as well. I don't even know if we've come across any, uh... What do you call it? Lapis yet. Whew, words are getting hard. Jesus. Gonna come lay down beside Dad now. Oh boy. That's more drops. This is where I want to put this stuff here. Um, we don't need to carry the sticks around anymore. Let's go cook some food and try to sleep a little bit at night so that. Well, first we're gonna get this cow, and we're also gonna get those. No. Well, we're gonna get that dog as well. Hang on, dog. You stay right there. Now we've got a leash. Bones. That cow drop leather? No. Worthless cow. <sighs> Stupid. Um, yeah. We need to put in some uh, extra lighting here. Yay, we got a dog. Come on, dog. Cooking our food. If 
we didn't need the leather, I wouldn't be killing llamas, but they're, sorry to say, a great source of leather. And I don't, uh, I don't like killing them, but we really don't have a choice. Llamas give off leather a lot more than cows even do. A drop rate for llamas are more successful than cows. And if I didn't have to kill them, I wouldn't, but I need the leather. The only bonus to getting leather from cows is you get the steak as well so that you can feed yourself. Alright, dog, I know you're fucking there. Jesus. Hmm. I mean, glowstone would be a good one. Good trade. Um... So would the cactus for dye, but I mean, it is what it is. We need to head out again. We need to get more leather. So we're on the hunt for more cows. Or llamas, depending on what we come across first. Sucks that sheep don't give leather. Because there's always a ton of sheep hanging around. gotta go fishing too because you can fish enchantments out of the water you can also fish saddles out of the water and a saddle would be a hell of a lot easier to get a horse with than uh, trying to hook him with a leash Shit, we're not getting into a fight right now. We don't need to fight. What we need to do is find cows. Gotta get fixated on that mission, because I know I'm going to get sidetracked, and if I get sidetracked, we're not going to get leather. some leather. Just remember also, guys, don't go for the babies, because the babies don't drop anything. Just be, you know, 
murdering a child that could grow up to give you resources. Always go for the adult animals. Horses. Sweet. Come on, you. I know, I got myself sidetracked after I said I didn't want to get myself sidetracked. My bad. You two get down here. But, if we can get the horses now, and then get the saddles out of the water... at a time. So there we go, we've tamed them both. Now we just need saddles. So, what I was going to say is, if we get the horses now, then we get the saddles out of the water. We've already got the horses, we don't got to run around for horses, because, you know, spawn rate and all. Um, it'll also make getting leather easier if we've got to go long distances, because you just jump on the horse and ride it, right? So... Get them both in here. Get in here. And there we go. We got horses. We got four actually there's my dog sticking his head into the chest where it doesn't need to be
coal and the charcoal back. We're going to put the bone back. Now we're going to go looking for more cows. Actually, it's nighttime. We're probably going to sleep. Although I can't tell if it's nighttime or not, but I, uh, it looks to be nighttime. We need leather, we need cows, we need leather. I think we're going to cross the stream and see if we can find anything over there. I mean, we could probably get chickens if we... You know what? Yeah. sidetracking again, but it's a good sidetrack. We're going to get ourselves some chickens. We should already have chickens, but we don't. Oh, there's one. I'm going to go up here and get this guy. As if we have two, we can breed them. Come on. And the more you breed them, the more you have a sustainable food source. So, we got to figure out which pen is going to be the chicken pen. I think I've made this one the chicken pen. Because, yeah, I think the other ones have two gates apiece. No, that only has one gate. That's got two gates. Okay. So that's the sheep. That's pigs. This is chickens. So we've started the farm. We've now got horses. We've now got chickens. We need cows, pigs, and sheep. But in order to do that, we need food, food, and food. Uh, basically, wheat and carrots, or beetroot, or potatoes. Any and all of the above. Oh, there was a sheep over here. I'm assuming we've got a wolf over here, that means, because that sheep got demolished. There's another chicken, there's a pig, there's two chickens actually. Now we gotta be careful, I don't want to go too close over here because I've been seeing that off in the distance. And I really do not want to be dealing with, uh... Pillagers right now. Because A, we don't have armor, and B, I want to be able to go out and search for a village without having to worry about having the Curse of the Bad Omen on me. To where we're going to start a raid if we accidentally wander into a village with that omen still on us. Yes, if I have a cow. Not yet. <laughs> I'm waiting on my wheat to grow so I can get animals. <sighs> it's struggling to grow. I 
You know, this hunt for cows is not going great. We might have killed too many cows to start off with on the first night, so they might spawn a little slower. So maybe we're going to go back and do some fishing and go from there. As I notice, if you kill one particular type of animal too many times, it spawns a little slower for a little bit. So maybe if we do some fishing to try to get some saddles or some uh, enchanted books, maybe we will get lucky and cows will start spawning again. That is the hope anyways. Or hell, even llamas. Maybe we'll get lucky and another wandering trade will happen to wander by and have llamas with them. <sighs> well, so far so good, we're at least catching food.
String. Cool. collect our rogue experience. Creepers coming real close to the side of the house. I uh, really don't want that to happen, so we're just going to uh, make a quick exit into the house and sleep. Bed's not too far away. Stop it. All right. So what did we end up getting here? Bow with mending one and curse of vanishing. Other than that, not much, really. I'm gonna put that away there. Like I said, we're going to give it a couple of days and see if the uh, cows start spawning back faster. And we'll go from there. I'd like the wheat to grow and the potatoes and carrots to grow so that we can actually finish getting the animals for our farm and start breeding them so that way we have the animals that we can just start making this go faster. I might have to demolish some more wheat seeds over there and make a second wheat patch that isn't on top of the house to see if it grows faster without being uh, near a waterfall. For some reason, yeah, the wheat isn't growing as fast as it uh, used to. Or that it does when it's actually planted in the ground, I should say. Like, seriously, experience? Like, it just floats away. Just floats away. Oh, we got a trap hook. I find it funny when you go fishing and there's no horses that spawn around you, you get like a crap ton of saddles. The second you build a house where there's a crap ton of horses and you go fishing, you get like no saddles. It 
It's like the game wants to piss you off. Oh shit, he's got a trident. I thought he was holding something. So let's hope he doesn't shoot us in the back. Because that's not cool. Hey, Mr. Trident Man, get the hell away. tried and hiding right under the damn dock. Just waiting for us to go get this experience. the wrong thing. I wanted to put that up there. Let's bring our food back down. Um, it's only too high right now? Yeah, it's only built itself up too high. Alright, let's check on our food. Oh, that's not growing. God damn it. Okay, so that grew. It's it's growing. It's just growing so slow. This guy wouldn't climb my. F <laughs> You're destroying my crops, you ass. Sorry, guys. Stupid jerk. Okay, 
Okay, so we have wheat, which is cool. We can now get sheep and uh, cows. Do we have carrots? <gasps> Going to kill this wandering fucking traitor if he ever comes back. Because where all my carrots are supposed to be, he's gone up and down that area too. Got to find a way to keep things out of my fucking house garden. like impossible to grow stuff when you've got stupid people wandering all over your crops. got wheat and we got carrots we should be able to finish off our farm we're gonna sleep one more night we're gonna go on the hunt for animals um, we're also gonna do up this uh, area with the carpet because carpet helps keep the animals in their pen and helps keep you sane so that you don't have to keep running after them. Because I don't know if you know the trick or not, but if you want to just get in to see your animals and you don't want them running away or jumping ship on you, if you put carpet on top of the fence, you're able to jump on it to get over the fence, but the animals aren't able to jump on it to get back over the fence. So you technically have a way in and way out without them being disturbed. So, that's why we do it that way. Well, that's why I do it that way. I prefer not to lose my animals. Because it's just a pain in the ass to get them all back in the pen once they get out. So... All right, here's our first two. That was easy to find two sheep. Sheep. There we go. We're starting to starting to farm. We can find two cows and two pigs before uh, midday. We'll be laughing. So we've already got bees. We got bees all over the place, so we can get honey and honeycomb if we need it. Um, we've already got chickens. Uh, 
So. We've got a dog. So we're missing cats, pigs, and cows. I see a cow. It's just one cow. But it's a start. Come on, you. Drag this guy all the way back, and we'll look for another one. All right, we're upping our uh, food resources. Come on. is going swimmingly. Come on, dum-dums. We just need pigs. Which we might have to go a little further for. Um, they haven't really been spawning near the house. They've been more spawning um, over in this area. Or further away. Speaking of, there's one. There's usually pairs. So there's one here. There's got to be another one close by. Because the animals usually show up in pairs. There we go. There's two. And there's three. So this actually showed up in triplets, but that's all good. We'll bring three pigs back with us, and there you go. We've got our farm. One at a time. One at a time. You stupid pigs.
I will off one of you if you don't fucking knock it off. There we go. Animals, all in the pens. There we go. We're good. Now we've really got our farm going. If we can get those cows to breed faster, which, you know, right now we need uh, the wheat to grow again, um, we can start harvesting for leather. see Trident Boy right now. So we've got four obsidian still, which leaves us needing obsidian to get the portal started. The nether portal. Um, so that's still a priority. Uh, we're still looking at bookshelves for the enchanting table. We still need to find a better way of getting resources out of the ground and which can also means iron. Um, iron, diamond, lapis, So, we've got a lot of stuff going on. This stupid touchy trigger. Stop it! that we have to accomplish. I'm hoping we can fish some saddles out of the water as we have horses that require them. We've already tamed the horses, we just need to get them saddles.
but that works in our favor. Once you tame an animal, it won't despawn on you. So we've bred our animals in the pens. They're not going to despawn. We've um, tamed the horses, so they shouldn't go anywhere either. But the more stuff you attach to your animals, the better it is uh, for them not to go anywhere. Uh, we also have to find a village. We haven't found a village yet, but we've got a pillager outpost near us. Usually where there's a pillager outpost, there's generally a, a village within... like a five to six hundred block radius of that pillager outpost, so... There should be one close to us. It's just going out and finding it. But as of right now, we are just doing our thing trying to get some extra resources out of the sea. I might drop our boat in the water <coughs> here coming up, and we can take a trip around with the boat, see if we can uh, find anything out on the water of use. because we haven't really explored the sea yet either. Which I actually think we're going to do. You know what? We'll bring our fishing rod with us. We could fish while we're... Damn it. Fish while we're out on the sea. No, I don't want the clock. You know what? We'll put the clock on the wall. I don't even know where the hell we got the clock from. Can't even remember. Let me hang the clock on the damn wall. How good is this clock? Hmm. Here, have a clock. Oh, but we're not going to let you hang it on the wall. So... Completely useless? Probably. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do.
pick up all our experience. I don't know what it is about some of the, uh, so we gotta get back, to, so we know we go past the outpost to get back. Is that a shipwreck on the land? See, guys, this is why you explore. What the hell is that? Mangrove? It is mangrove. But the trees aren't growing. It's like cut in half. Okay, so we got like half a shipwreck here that we can't get out of. Got a treasure map. Sweet. Get. Mm. Ow. All right, let's make it back to our boat. See where this treasure map leads us. Damn it. Treasure is like literally right here, creeper. Okay, so we gotta get rid of this creeper first. There we go. That was easy. And we're right in the middle of. Ah! Fuck me. It's around us somewhere. Can treasure be under? Can we not, like, yeah. Get under the water. Chip. That might be it there. We need to block this off though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the sand back out. in this area somewhere.
it should have let that creeper blow up on land. Yeah, like we're right in the middle of the X. Well, if I take this out, we're probably going to drown, right? He's got to be here somewhere. I guess that's one way of friggin' doing it. Stupid fucking creeper. This is where the treasure map says the treasure is, so I don't fucking understand how we can't find the damn treasure. We've checked under the water. God damn it all. Uh, 
guys, this is not going as planned. I don't know where the hell else we can dig. <sighs> We're right in the middle of the fucking X. This is where you're supposed to be. You dig till you're in the middle of the X, or when you're in the middle of the X, and that's where you go. Is that it right? God damn it all. That's not where the middle of the X was. Ooh, we have... Okay. We have armor. We have our first armor. anymore. Once you complete the treasure map, that's kind of garbage. So, let's go exploring around. Kick around and see what we can find. We haven't found an archaeological site yet. Like I said, we haven't found enough obsidian to make a portal yet. We haven't found saddles yet. I mean, we just got armor, thank God. But yeah, we're going to take a look around, see what we can find on some of these islands out here. I guess this is one way to get around the uh, villager outpost, or pillager outpost. Take a boat, go right around the whole island. Not seeing anything off in the distance under the water. What the hell was that? I mean, I suppose I could have uh, done my due diligence when building my house and done a little bit more exploring, because this definitely looks like the nicer side of the island, although we do have quite a few animals where we are, so... But there's some tall trees, which means we could possibly find an archaeological site in this area here. Because it's an old birch forest. 
because of the tall birch trees. And then we have a taiga biome over here again. Both biomes are good for finding archaeological sites in. So we can come over here and look for the terracotta, which is a dead giveaway. So, that can definitely help us out. Let's look at this taiga biome. So, we do have biomes near us that can help us out. It's just coming over and exploring them, getting past the... Uh, pillager outpost to do so. Which we will do. We're not going to do it just yet. Um, I've got to go get my uh, youngest from school soon, so uh, I'm going to start heading home so we can pack up what we found. But definitely tomorrow we might get into uh i'm not gonna say questing but exploring see what we've got in our area kind of cool that we found a beached shipwreck on the island just out from our i was wondering what the hell that different colored uh structure was on the island. I'm like, that's just sand. What the hell else is out there? Because you could tell it was a different color. I had no idea it was a ship. I kind of want to go there with my axe and take the whole thing down, because we do need the wood. And maybe we could find another chest? I don't know. But if we could find another chest, that would definitely help us out. Hey, what's going on, booty? Still not feeling good. I think mine is allergies because my throat's not sore anymore, but I'm still stuffy here or there. Just means summer's coming to an end. By the way, chat, yes, I've made the decision. We're going to get the wood from this ship because we need the wood and it's sitting right here on the beach and nobody else is going to take it. So we may as well rip this ship apart and take it and see if there's another chest in here we can steal. Oh, it's technically not stealing. Finders keepers. But yeah, we will go put our stuff away after this so we can... Uh, Head over to get the young one from school soon. Yeah, Logan gets off at 1.35 just because he doesn't stay at school all day yet. That's hopefully coming next week, so... This should be his last week. Yeah, he's not doing too bad. He's taking to school alright. 
Uh, the one problem is he won't let his EA change him while he's at school, so we got to talk to him tonight about that. Yep, pretty much. So we got to talk to him about... Yes, it will. So we got to talk to him tonight about that. Well, he knows it's going to hurt. It still doesn't sink in. He, he, he doesn't do it. At, he won't tell us at the house half the time. You got to walk by and you got to be able you got to smell it as you walk by and you got to be like, hey, <laughs> why didn't you say anything? when you've got a stuffed up nose because you can't smell half the time. <laughs> so you're rocking by and checking his ass to make sure that he hasn't done it instead of you relying on your sense of smell. Logan won't unless it's ex it's bothering him really bad. Like, he could be, like, you won't know sometimes, and he'll come walking around like a cowboy, and it's like, um, <laughs> did you do something in your diaper? <laughs> Why are you walking like that? And then he tries to go, no, and it's like, Logan, <laughs> don't lie to me. That could be a good thing. When I blow my nose and my nose starts bleeding, that usually means that I'm coming close to the end of uh, my cold. It could be that as well. Yep. One last piece of wood. There you go, guys. We've taken down the entire ship. And where's my boat? Is my boat surrounded by bad guys? Um, yes. Yes, it is. We gotta get out of here. How did we get in here? So we know this island. We know we can see this island from the house, so we're not too far away. Yeah, there's the house there. We're gonna go for a trip around this island first. What the hell was that? We are encountering a lot of strange shit happening in this boat, guys. I don't know if that's... an underwater magma block trying to suck us under, or what? That's twice now. We've almost been sucked under the, gr under the water. So... 
so. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to avoid which. Let's try to avoid that from here on out. Alright, we're going to go right through this gap here to head back home. And home we go. Yo. Because... Because you're the mom, you should know where everything is. I go I get the same thing with Logan. <laughs> I'm dad, I should know where everything is. To nuts if I've never seen it. <laughs> Of regeneration. That's pretty cool. That's not accurate. Probably not. Alright, chat. I've got to start getting ready to go get my youngest. Um, he's off school soon, so I've got to have some lunch and get ready to go. Uh, I should be back tomorrow morning. We're going to do probably some more Minecraft, do some exploring, see what we got around the house. Uh, so if you could do me a favor, hit that follow button. Also, head over to YouTube, check out my YouTube channel, SR Thunder Gaming. While there, please hit the subscribe button. Also, like some of the videos, that helps the channel.